Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the security tricks on the Motorola Edge 60 Fusion. Okay, so let's begin. So when you... after. You are after the set setup process. In here, Motorola has its own. It's not the system, but features. You can see it right here under the Moto. And we are interested in the Moto Secure. So let's simply click on that and let's begin. We can start with the device unlock. Okay, so as you can see, we don't have a screen lock for now. So let's begin with setting it. So let's click on set screen lock. In here we have those five possible options. We have none, swipe, pattern, pin, and the password. So I'm gonna show you an example of the pattern Okay, now in here we need to connect at least four dots to create our password. So simply connect fingers, sorry, connect dots with your finger, then release. If you want to try again, click on clear. But if you are, if you like what you just draw, simply click on next, then you need to draw it again to confirm and set your lock screen. In here you have three options what to show on the lock screen, so you can show all notifications, show sensitive content only when unlocked, or don't show notifications at all, so you can adjust it to your own preferences. Alright, also remember that if you set your screen lock and you will forget it, you will be forced to reset your phone and lose all of your data if you don't have a backup, so keep that in mind. All right, now we can also set the fingerprint. Okay. Now let's click on setup, click on got it. And now all we need to do is to place our finger inside of that sensor. And when we will feel a little vibration, we need to lift up our finger and then put it again. So let's perform that. Okay. And now we need to put our finger and lift it until we fulfill this square on our screen. So let's keep repeating that process. We are almost done. And once more. Okay, as you can see, the fingerprint has been added. If you want, you can add another one by clicking right in here. But we don't want to do it, do it right now. You can also, if you want, you can change the animation styles. So we have Red Waves, the Boomerang and the Chroma Dial. I'm gonna leave the default one. All right, so now let's see how those options work. I'm gonna turn off my screen. Let's begin with a simple pattern. Let's draw it just like that. As you can see, the screen has been unlocked. And now let's try with the fingerprint place your finger on that sensor, on that icon right in here. And as you can see, the screen also unlocks. So it works. Now let's get back into the device unlock. You can also set a face unlock right in here. Simply click on setup. And all you need to do now is to place your face inside of that frame and then simply follow the instruction on the screen. All right, now we have the FF protection. So this mode uses built-in safeguards to protect your personal data if your device is stolen. Below we have the auto lock protection. We can enable the theft detection lock and also the offline detection lock. So the theft detection lock works in that way. So if your theft detection lock detects your device was taken from you, your device screen will lock automatically to prevent anyone from accessing your personal data. This feature uses your device motion sensors and its Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections to try to detect if someone abruptly takes your phone and runs away. Okay. And when it comes to the offline device lock, this screen will lock shortly after your device goes offline to help protect your data. Also, we have the remote lock option. We can enable it right in here, but to use that option, we need to have our SIM card or eSIM 
in our phone. Currently, I don't have it, so it, it won't work. But in your case, I'm sure it's gonna work. Also in here, you can read how this works. And you have those three information that, that you need to have in mind. So the device must be offline. You can see it right in here. And if you find your device, just unlock your screen the way you usually would. For example, with a pin or password and your screen can be locked remotely up to twice a day. Okay, there's also find and erase your device. You can enable it right in here. So if you lose this device or any connected fast per accessories, you can use find my device to locate them. You can use app or the web and you can also enable to find your devices offline. You have those four possible options right in here. So basically, if someone will lost your stole your phone or if you lo lose it and you want to prevent someone from collecting your data, you can simply click on find my device and you can remotely lock it or also erase data if you want. So I'm going to show you how this works. Let's open up find my device. I need to sign in first. Okay, I'm going to use my sensor. Okay, so now we have our device. I simply click on find my device. Let's use the web. Okay. Sorry, not the phone. I picked the wrong one and I don't know why. Okay, here is the Motorola. And in here we have option to factory reset device or security device. Simply click one of those options and then click on next to move forward. All right, so that's all in here. We can disable it. Okay, now let's get back. Okay, so that's all when it comes to the device unlock. Now we can click on secure and privacy. For now, as you can see, everything looks good. Now let's click on app security and let's see. And let's perform a scan actually. Okay, all right, no harmful apps found. That's good to see. So below we have recently scanned apps and it's good to perform it from time to time to see if there's something to do. All right, now I have shown the device unlock, my bet. Now let's click on account security and let's see, let's click on the Google security checkup. Okay, also in here, we don't need to perform any action. So it's good. From time to time, simply enter that feature and look if there is something to do. All right, now we have the password checkup. As you can see, no compromised passwords. Passwords are unique and the passwords are strong. You should try to use different passwords just for your own safety, because if someone will know one of your passwords and you have that password to all of your accounts or, I don't know, apps, Gmail or bank account, that's really, really bad. He can get, he basically have access to anything on your phone. Everything, not anything. Okay, so from time to time also click on the password checkup and see what's going on. All right, I have shown the device finders. Now let's click on system and updates. In here, we can simply click on check for update. And as you can see, there is a available update. Its size is 81 megabytes. All you need to do now is to simply click on download and install, wait until the process is finished, and then simply reboot your phone. But I'm not gonna do it now because I have other things to show you. But if you have updates available, simply install them. All right. Now let's click on security update. And as you can see, everything looks good. So we don't need to perform any action. Okay, that was the Google Play that I have shown you. Also, we have the backup. It is an extra thing to, that we want to discuss. So let's say if someone will store, store your device 
and you don't have a backup and you don't have option to restore your media photos and anything so backup is also a pretty nice option in under the account storage we have our google account that we are currently locked in and also the storage space below make sure that the backup by google one is enabled right in here and below we have also the backup details so we can backup apps photos and videos sms and mms messages call history device settings and the google account data so if you choose to create such a backup which i suggest you should and it's really really convenient option make sure that you remember your google account right in here and you won't forget password to it because if you will want to restore your data from that backup you will need to be locked in into the same google account otherwise you won't be able to restore your data now if you click on backup now right in here the small and thin bar will appear and it's going to start to fulfill when it comes to the opposite edge you will see an information on the bottom of the screen that your data is backup and that's all that's the whole process so i suggest you should click on that backup now button all right now as we scroll down there's also more security and privacy settings And now in here we have the extent unlock. You can read what this option does. Click on got it. And in here we have on body detection, trusted places, and also trusted devices. So keep this device unlocked while it's on you at specific places that you trust or near your trusted devices. So when it comes to the on body detection, if you choose to enable it, the device stays unlocked while it's in motion. Like when you're walking with it, this device will stay unlocked for up to four hours or until you put it down. So if you are interested in that feature, you can enable it. And the same thing is with the trusted places and also with the trusted devices. All right, now we can go back. Also, we have the Android safe browsing. Make sure it's enabled right in here. So what this option does is that it detects security threats within supported apps on android devices so it will also helps it also helps with the performance and the security of your phone and it helps with keeping your viruses out so i suggest you should also enable it okay now we can get back into our model security okay now i have shown the device unlock find my phone also and now let's click on the secure folder okay i don't want any allow in here click on continue click on that right arrow you can log in into your secure folder with your Google account. Okay, now we need to wait until it loads. So we need to keep on waiting. Okay, now in here we can choose a lock for our secure folder. I'm gonna select the pattern and I'm gonna set the same pattern as my lock screen okay in here we can also activate secure folder recovery to activate secure folder recovery you need to log into your model account i'm gonna click on later because i don't have that account you can also set the fingerprint unlock i suggest you should set it up we can enable it right in here all right we can also set the timeout so the app will turn off after some period of time. I'm gonna click on maybe later because I don't want to do it right now. And here basically you can add files or the apps that you want to keep away from unwanted persons. So it's also 
cool feature that secure folder as you can see it's on right in here we can also scan for threads right in here now let's click on that blue button scan now and let's see okay as you can see it's very good we have our essential protection app lock auto lock pin pad scramble and finishing detection so when you click on the app lock for example you can secure each app with pin pattern or password authentication so also i'm gonna select the pattern i'm gonna draw it a few times and in here let's see currently we don't have any locked apps but let it be i don't know i want to lock the tiktok for example as you can see it's enabled it's in the locked apps and now if i will want to in a get access to the tiktok if someone will want to if, if he clicks on that he needs to draw the pattern to get access to it so it's also a nice feature if you want to keep someone out of your apps all right so that's all on this video thank you all for watching if you found this video helpful please leave a like comment and subscribe